Hey guys, welcome to GeekTechTV.com where we have your answer to all of your geek related questions. Now, a lot of the time you go out to the store and you buy a computer and uh, it's working fantastic when you bring it home. What happens after about a year or so, uh, the computer starts to get really slow, it starts to crawl, it's cluttered. It's not what you expected it to be after a year, it's much slower than it used to be and you're wondering why. Of course there are many reasons why this happens, but today I'm here to give you some tips and even a video tutorial on how to make your computer the way it was when you first got it out of the store. And yes, it is possible and uh, most of the time it works pretty well. So the first thing I would like you to do is uh, we'll get started right away. You boot up your computer until you're on your desktop screen here. Um, and you click on the start menu at the bottom you head off to all programs you go to accessories system tools and disk cleanup now disk cleanup is a great piece of software it's just a part of Windows itself and what it does is it analyzes your computer for temporary stored files basically anything you no longer need and no longer require uh, because every website that you do access on your computer, it saves its images and videos that you do view onto your computer, making the website faster to load next time, creating the illusion of making your internet or computer faster the next time that you access that website. Now, gradually, as you visit more and more websites, the memory just piles on until it gets to a point where it's insanely massive. So this can really clutter up your hard drive and make files that are necessary for programs to run take a lot more time to access and therefore making your computer slower so once you run this wizard you can take everything here really I mean there's not a lot you'd want to keep I don't know why you would want to keep any of this um, maybe you always want to keep your temporary internet files there that's entirely up to you but what I like to do is I take all of them okay it yep and it deletes everything for me and over there I've gotten rid of I think it was 260,000 kilobytes which is which is about 250 um, 250 megs now come back down here go to all programs once you click on the start menu go to accessories go to system tools and go to disk defragmenter this is another thing that can help you get your computer speed back what disk defragmenter does is a lot of the times whenever you're saving data onto your computer hard drive it stores it at different parts of the hard drive so some data is stored at the beginning of the hard drive some data is stored at the end and say if you're running a program which is stored at the beginning of the hard drive and you want to access a file that is stored in the end the needle has to move throughout the hard drive till it gets to the end cluster reads it returns it comes back to the beginning cluster and moves on from there this can take a lot of time and I mean it might not be entirely noticeable by you but over time it'll become noticeable so what I'll do is I'll analyze this here and I'll show you guys what I mean. All right, the red uh, bars are your fragmented files, the blue bars are your contiguous files, and the green bars are your unmovable files. What we want to do is move as much of it as we can to the beginning. Now, how do we do that? We just click on defragment, nice and easy. This will analyze your hard drive once again, it'll move it right back to the beginning, and this will make your computer run a lot faster and a lot better. Now if you don't do this, say once a month or so, I recommend once a week, but if you don't do this that often, eventually what you'll find is after a while, say after a couple of years, the program just won't work, it just won't run. Um, it's just going to take way too much time to do all of that and you'll find that sometimes it can take days, if not a week, to have this done. Normally this takes a couple of hours, so I'm not going to keep this video going on for a couple of hours, I'm just going to click on stop here. Um, I'll run this after the video because I haven't done it in a while. One last tip that I have for you guys is to click on Start, All Programs, Accessories, go back to System Tools. Now over here you'll find basically your security center which is critical and what I want you to do is to have a good antivirus piece of software installed because a lot of the times you will get viruses from the internet which will incur in a slower program now what I do recommend is a program called not 32 n-o-d-3-2 
you do have to pay for that program but it is by far the best virus protection software out there there are freer alternatives which are not as good but still do the job uh, one is called eWido e w i d o and uh, another one is called AVG Antivirus. That's also quite a good one. Now, this pretty much ends our speed up tutorial. There, is, well, the first half of it anyway. There's uh, one more segment coming up, which will go through a couple of um, freely available programs out there, which will help you keep your computer clutter free, because that's critical for a computer. It's kind of like your uh, weekly health checkup. So, um,. Keep watching our video, subscribe to our video feeds so whenever we have something new coming along, we can tell you right about it and you'll get an email. Uh, please support us. Um, please send us your emails at suggestions at geektechtv.com simply because we don't have a social life and we can help you with uh, every tech related question that you have. So send us your emails, send us your suggestions, post your comments on our YouTube videos, subscribe to our videos, rate our videos, visit our website and check what is there also another thing if you're viewing this tutorial on youtube you will find a better quality one on our website much higher quality and you can go view it there if you can't focus on the things here um but yeah that's about it from us this is abdullah from geektechtv.com saying sayonara to you and uh watch out for our second part in this series see you guys around